Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel, you're watching 46 Okanen, and off camera I spent my Evo genes, and I am now a Theriaruria, which is one of those fake dinosaurs that doesn't exist. But having spent a lot of money and being up near a thousand experience points on almost all, and we're on the third tier of evolution now out of six by the way, doing quite well already in this chapter. Uh, now having gotten far more powerful, I think it's time we uh, split from this mountain and go due east like the Lunarian suggested. Uh, but first let's see just how much butt we kick here. Yeah, buddy. Desperate attacks all over the place. I like it. Let's get out of here though. We need to we need to rest and recover, eat the eat the food on the vines, maybe get a few more Evo points, and then go east. All right, back out on the map. The Lunarian said to head due east. I am still hurt by fire, which makes sense, but man, why does it hurt a lot? Kind of makes me want to go back and retreat to the safety of the, uh... Hey, good, some food. I definitely need food for getting my fill. Uh, oh, okay. The landscape has changed somewhat, and I can uh, go ahead and go toward the glowing mountains. Is that a safe place to go right now? I have been magically teleported. Okay, I can still be magically unteleported. Uh, is there anything around here that is worth what? No, that is the thing to do around here these days. That is the tourist attraction, I see. So let's go ahead and go in there and see what, okay. Boy, I really hate, hey, we're in Italy. You can tell by the boot shape. Rabbitosaurus attacks. I should be able to take this on fairly easily. Uh, and now, since I'm in a battle, I can recover. Perfect, alright. Not doing much damage to me at all. So, Rabidosaurus is well within our means to fight. And we get 40 Evo G. 40, is a, 40 at a time is a really good... And Icarosaurus, that's the tier up from us as well. So, I'm not worried about its ability to damage us too badly. Let's go ahead and onslaught it. That's a one-two punch. You snapped at it, and you mauled it with your forelegs. And that's enough to win 40 Evo genes. So everything around here is pretty simple. Rabbitosaurus, living up to his name. He is... He is an eager beaver. Alright, there we go. And every time you fight even, like, one or two enemies... Hey, alright, I love volcano eruptions because they give me tons of money to spend. Let's see where we can go now. We definitely want to be able to recover a lot. We're close to evolution on endurance, so I think we might want to do that. Let's go ahead and evolve endurance, sure. That makes us a Theriorosmos. That sounds like another fake one. Do I look... Ooh, I look a little uglier. Boy, that blue and orange, that is a... That is a color choice right there. All right, let's move, give ourselves some hit points. Can we evolve in vitality and just go back to being a Theriorria? Theriorria? Yeah, I like, okay, I like that much better. That's a little more aesthetically pleasing. And then let's dump the rest into attack. Sounds good to me. Yes. Is that going to prepare us to fight a Lystrosaurus? I think a Lystrosaurus is on the previous tier. So I am slightly ahead on grinding. <laughs> as you can tell by the fact that I'm doing seven times as much damage as everyone else. Okay, water still hurts me, I think. Yeah. I can only eat food off of vines at this point. So moving on eastward. Moving across the land bridge. It hurts my face. Okay, anything special in the mountain dead end? No. But making my way towards dead end seems to be the way to do things. Evolving now into Canamai area. Is that another fake one? I haven't heard of that before either. No, that's a real one. Managed to reproduce well despite being attacked by carnivores. Similar in body type to modern cows. Alright, I like being a cow dinosaur. That's definitely something I can get behind. Hey, plenty of food. I don't have to recover during a fight now. That should be quite excellent. Okay, ooh, a glowing cave. I like the look. I like the look of a Lystrosaurus that managed to walk right up in front of my face. Oh man, this is this is looking so good for me. Oh, he's holding still. Well, I think I'll just onslaught him. 
Man, yeah, and that's even without desperate attacks. The onslaught is fun to do. So, are we going to continue being... No, we can evolve... If I go Vitality, will I just be too fat to move? I have to see if that's a thing that will happen. I always think I'm going to go off the charts sometimes when I do extreme evolutions. And it never ends up happening that way. Uh, hopefully it will happen this time. I kind of want to see if I can go off the chart by evolving my Vitality. Yes! Yes! I have evolved further into what, pray tell? Many years have passed. You adapted to life in the wetlands and your kind reproduced well. You know, as people of the huh, Uncle Roundy genetic material are want to do. <sighs> so, other more aggressive species would sometimes prey upon you, but the overwhelming speed at which you reproduced tended to offset those losses. I'm a speed demon, baby. But the wetlands you lived in, with their sudden swings and weather and the occasional tectonic activity, gradually began to dry up. Unfortunately, you no longer had the power to adapt to a new environment. Unable to move due to hunger and thirst, you gradually dried out just like the terrain you called home and became a fossil. Much time needed to pass before you could see the sun's light once more. But once your remains were uncovered, you were given a name for the first time by the creature who unearthed you. This will be called Canamera Canamiaria, the first mammal-like reptile. The first mammal-like reptile. I made history. Unfortunately, it resulted in a game over. But, you know, that's not such a big deal. Uh, we can just uh, not evolve in that direction. We can evolve in another direction, like uh, attack. Easy. And become a Theriororia again. Sure, why not? Instead, why don't we go all the way to the other end of the chart and become a Scleromos? Because why not? We're just bouncing all over the place here today. Okay, there we go. Another fake one. Very cool. This is a lot more dinosaur-like, though. I, I will give it that. I figured we might move down to the fourth tier if I went evolving in, well, just about any direction. And that makes me a Theria Rodon. I seem to get shorter and chunkier the more I evolve. I kind of like it. All right, let's finally go in this cave and see what this is all about. Ah, it's a happy cave. Somebody's going to talk to us and tell us, oh man, I move faster than the speed of, oh, this is going to be one where we listen through a crack, isn't it? Yes, it is. So how was the Fountain of Evolution? Oh, you know, fountainy, evolutiony. There were some weird monsters crawling about inside. So we can make it past them then. Yes, indeed you will. You'll have those famous Scleromos boobies. Hi, I, 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 I'll, I'll be smart. Huh? Thug C does not know what he or she will do if they walk into the Fountain of Evolution to get puzzled. <laughs> Okay, that's some great translation right there. I'll get swole as hell. Yeah, you will, buddy. Well, Thug C seems to have uh, not been able to make a decision. Uh, I think uh, swole as hell is a pretty good... Yeah, why don't you just uh, run up? Why don't you... You know, you can decide later. You're not roped into anything at this point, but this is where we found out clearly about the Fountain of Evolution. So let's make our way towards such a thing. A thunderstorm raged around me and gave me money to spend. Okay, so now, if I go here, okay, that just means, oh wow, boy, free Evo jeans for days. Okay, what, what tier of dinosaur am I encountering now? Uh, I feel like I may be encountering third tier dinosaurs at this point. A can in my area. Uh, that's the one... Yeah, that was in the tier just above me just now. Okay, yeah, that's a little bit more of an even match for sure. But, uh... Okay, let's see. I will take defensive stance time. Ooh, I can stalk it. What does that do? You wait flat and... Oh, yes, it's a stun move. Oh, absolutely awesome. I will go ahead and uh, take this time while it's stunned to recover. Very good. Wow, that could not have gone better, actually. That Okay, so now I have a move that stuns. So I may want to stick with this form for some time. So go ahead. It couldn't find you and it was stunned. Stunned, I say. Stunned. Oh, so good. And if I can get in desperate attacks, all the better. I can just run up on people and just rock their world. Dicynodon attacks. This is a new one. Is this on my level? It's got the same kind of grin. 
Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stalk it. So, there we go. So I only do 149 to this one. Oh yeah, it's it's comparable power to me for sure. Oh, see, it did the same thing to me. Uh oh, that's no good. Well, we wanna we wanna do the same thing to it. Oh, it did it work? Are you kidding me? Well, now I know that there's a chance that such things cannot work. Uh oh. Ooh, wow. So two unlucky attacks in a row did nothing for my recovery efforts. Okay, that puts me on somewhat more even ground. There we go. That gives me a big one-up advantage. Oh, man. Okay, wow. That was a battle right there. Okay. So now I need to be careful where I go. I need to be... I need to be far more... Okay, is there anywhere I can heal around here? I don't think so. Oh, the forest is completely on fire behind me now. So that dissuades me from going backwards any. Anything in the cave where I can just... Take a nice little rest. I didn't see a food vine in here or anything. No, that would not appear to be the case. But maybe I can just sit in there and recover and spin some jeans. That might not be such a bad idea, actually. Alright, this place is just crawling with dinosaurs that love to corner me. This is a new one we're encountering, an Ophia Codon. That sounds like something that it might not work if I try to stalk it. Yep, and it hurts a whole lot. But I hurt a whole lot, too, so... There we go. Let's go ahead and recover. Yep, that would figure, of course. Did not do anything for my, uh... There we go. Okay, so yeah. Definitely want to make sure I get the leg up if I... Okay. Ah, oh, no. It worked against me. That's no good. See, stalking should only work against the enemy. It's no fair when it works against me. That's just... That's just not how things should work around here. Okay. Okay. Lots of... Okay. This place is lousy with enemies. I don't want any of them running into me just yet. I want an opening. Where will I find that opening? Probably not by doing anything except fighting more Ophia Codons. Yep, they're coming right at me. They are not even bothering with the... They are not pussyfooting around. See? Ugh! Stupid unlucky attacks. They're stupid. They suck. There we go. That gave me a real leg up. Defense time for recovery. Perfect. Wow. It just likes defending. Very good. Ah, oh, see, that sucks, though. Okay, I want to take some time before I find another one of these things to recover. Oh. Oh, it had the same idea. Very funny, Mr. Guy. Oh my gosh, this is just going to go on forever and ever, isn't it? Ah! Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, so there is actually a pretty good chance I could lose this despite my best efforts. Yeah, every time he gets an unlucky attack, it basically undoes all my recovery effort. I hate that. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Stop! Ah! Uh. Okay, I would like enemies to not be incredibly freaking annoying. Wow, that was the hardest 51 Evo jeans I ever earned. I feel like I gotta go relax in the cave again. I wish there was somewhere I could relax. Any spot at all that I could just... They really are doing away with that kind of... Okay, yeah, that, that does hurt. But it does give me some jeans. I feel like I'm going to have to do the thing I did a few chapters ago where I just kept relying on random events like that to give me Evo genes until I could take care of the enemies ahead of me. Hallelujah, a stream that actually heals me. And now I'm also an Ophia Codon, which means I should be able to fight with the best of these guys now. Because if I'm the exact same thing as they are, oh man, I don't think... I don't think a defensive stance is going to help against a 400-point desperate attack. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, now I'm feeling a lot more confident. Now that I know there's a place to heal and... Did I get unlucky? That was... That's a big suck. Okay. Yeah, couple turns of recovery. Great. Great, I'm stunned. All right. Now I can kind of go in a full-on all-out offensive because I have a little healing stand right here. But that's okay. Let's keep on moving now. 
Now that I've got things going, for, mm, I've reached the coast. Do I want to go all the way around the land bridge here? Oh, that could be... Okay, it looks like in this little water path, my only chance for recovery is going to be to recover during fights. Hey, there we go. Hey, there we don't go. Uh, yeah, I want to go ahead and recover during these times. Alright, that's... That's definitely... I want to stay on top of my life total as much as possible while I'm passing through water that hurts me. Okay, yeah. Like, see, that went super well. And now, Evo time. Got a lot of points to spend. I'm going to go ahead and dump them into... Let's go ahead and dump into Wisdom. Jump over two whole spaces to the left. Become a Theria Rodon again. And then take it in an attack direction. Oh yeah, there we go. Will this take me to the next tier down? I'm a Mastrodon now. What does that make us? Sounds very Mastodon-esque. Oh, more like a Demetrodon. Made specifically for this game and doesn't exist. I'm getting a little tired of those, actually. That joke was funny maybe once or twice, and then turns out they're just filling it with all kinds of fake dinosaurs. Anything they want, essentially. Okay, so we're gonna go in a heavy endurance direction. And now, since we're on the, uh, since we're on the final tier, I feel confident that we can really hurt these guys now. And they can still really hurt me. That's, that's wonderful. Uh... Okay, yeah, I will take this time while it's defending to... Oh, it had the same idea. Great, I was absolutely hoping that would not be the case. Oh, cool. And unlucky attacks for days. Wonderful. Okay, but still that didn't go too terribly awful. Oh, gosh. Okay, is this a nice little healing pond? This might actually be a place I want to go. Oh. Oh, hey, a temple of some sort. I didn't want to leave it, though. I am curious about it. Uh, but I do need to find a place maybe where I can heal first. There we go. So now, go into the place where I can heal. And let's see. I'm going to go in here. And I've done I've done a lot of individual takes so far. Let me see, let me see how I'm doing time-wise here. Seem to be doing okay-ish, but this is a good stopping point. Okay, we are. We're at the Fountain of Evolution. Okay. Oh, that's the monsters in the water they were talking about. That's why the journey hurts so much. I do want to drink from the Fountain of Evelyn. Yeah. There's some gross little minerals in the water. But I get this feeling that I knew them long ago. Just my imagination? Maybe so. Well, looks like next time we're going to have to prepare for another maze. This is as good a point as any to stop. Next time we will drink from the Fountain of Evolution, provided it's been filtered correctly.